we think of video gaming as driving single player. But in fact, the earliest video games were multiplayer, right? The earliest versions, the oscilloscope version of tennis, right? The, the Higginbotham version. The earliest versions of, of you know, Pong and, and table tennis and Ralph Baer, those, they were, they were multiplayer. And even stuff like complicated, what we think of today as multiplayer and virtual worlds and online games, right? Those happened as soon as computers got networked, which was from day one. There were multiplayer online games happening almost immediately, right? Space War, the first arcade stand-up machine, was a multiplayer game. So uh, multiplayer has actually been there the whole time. And I always get in trouble for saying this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Single player, the way we think of it today, is actually a historical aberration. It's only been around for 30 years. And now that connectivity is widespread again, we are seeing all of the single player games start adding back in forms of multiplayer as fast as they can. Um, everything from just having badges and leaderboards and chat channels and, and that kind of thing to much richer and deeper integrations ranging from virtual worlds to online matches to social games on, on Facebook and, and other sites like that.